Moin, and welcome to the Biomancy 2 showcase on the primordial true venerated supreme flesh weaver, or in short, on the grand magus of Biomancy. And for the very uninitiated, I'm called Elantarius, and I'm the mod author, and I'm going to update you on the current state of the mod and answer some questions. One of the most received comments is scorn, scorn, scorn craft. It's scorn, scorn in a nutshell. It's scorn everywhere. But I hate to disappoint you, but it's not inspired by scorn. I haven't even played the game. And maybe my new artist, which I'm working with, was inspired by it. Who knows? But Biomancy 2. In specific was inspired by biopunk in general, biomancy from some other sources, biomanipulation and flashy stuff, a little bit of body horror and the really true OG inspiration was biology, which is like a homebrew for D&D. Some people might find it online. You can search it up, but um, Anyways, this mod is not really focused on that part. So, a lot of people also ask, will you port it to 1.19.3 or to 1.20? And the answer to this is, of course I will port it, but it depends on when GeckoLib4 is available for Forge, and if Forge is stable enough for these versions and 1.19.3 is still in the pre-release candidate state, so that will take some time. And another one. Some people requested fabric and I'm not going to be a person which denies it. I will say I can do a fabric version but for that to happen you have to support me on coffee and we have to reach the donation goal and if that works out then we will have fabric if not we will be forge forever so thank you and we're going to start off with a guided tour maybe more of a overview of what is currently available how do i get started in biomancy that's very simple. In the beginning, we need to get some meat. And what can be very helpful is crafting a bone cleaver, for example. A bone cleaver will help you to get certain materials from mobs that you can't get otherwise. If you have some victims nearby. And when they die, you will see they drop claws, sharp fangs, and other things. So, as you see, killing the wolves gave us sharp claws, sharp fangs, and some sinew. And that's very useful to craft the biomancy machines. There's also another way to get the uh, drops, is if you enchant a sword with, for example, despoil. And despoil will do almost the same thing as the bone cleaver dropping the um, special loot. Uh, the only difference is that the despoil enchantment has a greater chance to drop more from the loot. For example, if we kill some pigs, we see that they dropped some biolands and pork chops and so on. And the next step to craft is the primordial cradle. And the cradle is the block that will spawn the flesh blobs that some have seen. And you can craft it quite simply, getting some raw meat, an ender eye, and some sharp fangs, and you get a primordial cradle. And you get an advancement for living flesh 
If you check out your advancements, you can see that we will guide you a little bit and tell you what might be to be what you have to do to get some stuff done. It's still a work in progress, but there won't be a guidebook. It will be mostly driven by advancements and tool tips on the items. I might change it later on, but that's the state for now. So, what do we want to fill it up with? We want to fill it up with some organic material, like raw meat. Or we have to fill it up with raw meat. And it's now full. And if some people paid attention, what could be maybe activating like the regeneration of flesh? So we can take a look at some health potions, for example. Let's say in level one, and you can see the level goes up a little bit, and we have to fill up the whole eye to start the healing process. And there we go. We have a flesh blob. And to progress even further, we have to do the sad thing of killing it. And you might see, we get some living flesh. And the living flesh is used to craft further things, which include the decomposer. The decomposer is like basically step three, four, who knows. But it's like a block which accompanies the bioforge because the decomposer, as it is in the name, decomposes stuff. It uses nutrients which you get from food. You can put any food in here and it gets turned into nutrients, but I would say raw food is the least efficient source of fuel. What you really want to do in the end is get a more efficient fuel source, which is nutrients. The, the processed, bare nutrients without all the other wastes that we don't need for the fuel. So we have like four nutrients. You see it will consume like one. So we can, for example, get rid of a sinew. And we have decreased processing sounds because some people were a bit too sc screamish and you will see it through some flesh bits some elastic fibers and it will do different things for different items and you basically get a variety of base components like elastic fibers armored fibers, flesh bits, bone uh, fragments, and bio minerals. It's basically, you can recycle a lot of different things. Uh, blocks are not recyclable because they're too strong, too tough for the decomposer. Maybe in the future there will be a function to decompose blocks, but at the moment it's primarily only items. Any eye can show you what is decomposable, so not any eye, I'm sorry, JEI, you know, too many mods, too many versions of Minecraft. So <laughs> you can see there are different recipes that give different stuff. Not all components that are produced, like not, not all things have a use right now, but they will have a use in the future that will get added on. Like, there are some exceptions that can be decomposed, like a creeper head. Um, that's it for the decomposer. The bioforge, we shouldn't look into that at the moment. Here we have a setup for bio... Uh, I mean... This is a decomposer. And this is a digester. The digester is basically the fuel producer. He also uses nutrients, but he is less picky. He can eat basically everything that is organic, while the decomposer only accepts food and nutrients. 
So if we have here like a variety of different items and we have like biofuel and in creative you could pick it up faster with a hoe. That's like for all the flesh blocks. There can be farmed faster with a hoe. Anyways, we have our plant materials. You can also unload them like a bundle and eat them up again. And you will see it has. There we go. Uh, we should get rid of this because I can't decomp uh, I can't digest it in the digester. So we place it up here. It goes into the digester, and the digester will produce a nutrient paste. Nutrient paste is like an upgraded version of nutrients because we have the base nutrients, which is like worth one unit of fuel, and when we have nutrient paste, which is worth more, and nutrient bar is an upgrade to that. And if we see nutrient bar is basically compressed nutrient paste, nutrient paste is a combination of nutrients and biomatic, uh, biotic matter. So we're producing, we have here a little bit of fuel still left and we're pumping it into the decomposer. That means we can pick up all the raw materials and pump them in through the, and you see it's going. Oh yeah, and the digester also has like a certain amount of recipes which have different amount of nutrient paste production depending on how rare and how energy rich the food is or the ma organic material you provide. And of course create works as well or importing stuff into the blocks. And here we get bone fragments out. The next step what you would do is craft a bioforge. A bioforge needs slime balls to craft. Mm, maybe not. I forgot I need some living flesh. And then we can craft the bioforge. And the Bioforge and Decomposer and the uh, Primordial Cradle are like the only blocks that are crafted in a workbench, basically. All the other things happen inside the Bioforge. At the moment I have unlocked all the recipes that are available to me. And we have a variety. We have them sorted by building blocks types. We have flash doors, flash fence gates, flash fence, flash ladder, or flash ladder. We have flash iris doors, and the normal stuff. And then we have a machine part. We can craft a bioforge, a decomposer. They have different amounts of resources they need. So if we have a little bit of this. We can see they all turn green, or most of them. And then you see we have eight of them and can craft them. Uh, the sounds you hear at the moment are some of them more placeholders. And what you would do after having this block is basically setting up your decomposer to get more base materials to craft more stuff with this and then you can get into building a bio lab and maybe a tongue. The tongue is basically only for dropping items in the world without velocity. Nothing interesting. Maybe I should show it now because you're gonna be curious what it really does. Uh, for that we need a chest. Or we can use this one. Basically connects to it and outputs the item. So you might be asking why is this useful? Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I should have not done it this way. But you can basically feed your machine with this. Yeah, now you only need potions. You can also feed potions and it will work. Anyways, back to the Bioforge, uh, the machines, then we have uh, miscellaneous stuff, we can, if you find a night a Nautilus shell, you can unlock the recipe inside the Bioforge to recreate it, which is like some, even the scutes, and some fertilizer which is more powerful than normal fertilizer and you can recreate some other stuff and now i'm confused why we have three blocks in here which shouldn't be in here but doesn't matter at the moment and then we have tools and weapons we have the bio injector which is for injecting stuff into yourself or into other entities and we have a, a long claws item which is basically a weapon and there will be more things to come people ask for flesh armor and it is planned but it's not at the moment in the, it's not in the mo mod at the moment but it will come more living tools will also come and i think i should get rid of some stuff we'll make space And oh yeah, we can't put in storage sacks into other storage things. It's the same deal uh, w as with shulkers. And m many have so so seen this one. This is a flashbang chest. It's basically your personal storage chest. You can pick it up and bring somewhere else and it will attack you if you're not its owner there's a very simple test it's owned by somebody else and it will attack you and if you have an entity before it like a pick you will see this is not the only thing that happens. Yeah, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant this. So, the next thing on the order of lists is showing you the bioinjector and serums related to it and the living long claws I think we can start with the long claws yeah it's you want to feed them because they're living at the moment they're dormant because you haven't fed them and they have no energy which you can see has nutrients 0 out of 1000 and if I press V to cycle its mode it doesn't do anything we have also some tooltips it's refusing to work and how do we feed it? very simple like a um, bundle it can eat the stuff and now it's full, the tool is awake, and it's also dealing more damage now, 7 damage and a faster attack speed. Maybe some stuff might get balanced later on, but who knows. And we can even exalt it, and in exalted mode, the, tool, uh, the living tool is more powerful and is using also more nutrients to work. and we get some stuff 
basically we have 11 attack damage and 2.6 attack speed. This will change. Everything is can change. Or maybe not. Who knows? That's basically a boring living tool. And the more exciting part is getting this one. We can choose different serums we have in our inventory. We can also empty it and pick number two. Hmm. Well, I should be producing now a lot of more picks. There we go, pick number one, pick number two, number three, uh, number four, maybe number five, oh no. Yeah, it's basically helping you to breed things faster and quicker so you have more biomass to your disposal. One sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. And if you don't want to wait ages for them to grow up, you can always make them grow faster. Or do the reverse. Make them smaller. And they will stay small, they won't grow up. Oh, these are already small. We have other serums with an insomnia cure, which we can self-inject if you sneak and right-click, but we can't at the moment because we are not sleepy. And then we have absorption stimulants, which basically give us hearts, nothing fancy. And we have cleansing serum, which removes all status effects, all ailments, everything which is making changes to yourself or is affecting you. We have doors. We have pressure plates. Uh, this is a flash cam pressure plate which will only work for you. So enemies won't be able to use it. And you can change the mode. This is now enemy mode. And now it will only activate for everyone except you. And in friend mode, or it only activating for you. Is there anything left to do? We have train compatibility with Crate. If I could catch up to it. And the doors are interactable. And we have our train driver driving recklessly the train around. And now I'm too large to get out of the train. Yeah, I think this wraps up the showcase what is currently in the mod. It's not much, but like most of the bear work was done. It's basically the basic stuff. You know, doing on different things, getting it ready. This is a real trapdoor. Well, it also works with uh, stairs, I mean with ladders, not stairs. If anyone is concerned, you can use them to get out. Yeah, 
And here we see like the different base components you can get from the decomposer. It's many different things. Uh, the fluids are from mostly from where are they? Toxin glands, volatile glands, and bio gland, withered bone marrow, bone marrow, sinew, and sharp claws and sharp fangs. They drop from mob mobs. And below here are the decomposed component of uh, the components from the decomposer output. And maybe one last part which I totally forgot is how you craft in the bio lab. You also need nutrients. You get some nutrients in there and you can show recipes for example. And we see healing additive is missing. I was pretty sure I prepared something to craft but apparently not. But normally you put in your glass vials or absorption stim or any stimu stimulants, I, I, mean, you know, I mean compounds or whatever in here. This is a trash slot and the result is here and the input of four slots. So basically you, you want to do like organic compound is like the most basic one you want to craft. And it is bile and nutrients and glass vial, glass vial. So we get some bile which we can get from the decomposing a lot of different things. For example the bile gland and other things. And here's a little cloud. There we go. I deleted the issues. And then we have some glass eyes and some. There we go. And we have a production of the most basic com uh, organic compounds, which you use to craft further stuff. If you press U, you will see you get more different things. Yeah, and some building blocks, nothing fancy. We have a little bit different feature. We have vertical slabs. Yeah, I know. Heretical. Yep, that wraps it up. Not a good mod spotlight or whatever or showcase, but you can see most of the things the mod offers at the moment. Anyways, glad to have you here viewing or I mean listening to me rambling on about the mod and showing and random stuff at the end, but I hope you liked it and you get a feel what this mod is about. So basically if people really want to know which direction this mod is going, you can expect it to be a light tech mod inspired by I would say industrial craft or thermal expansion but simpler than thermal expansion and and Formcraft is also an inspiration to, that I draw from. So it will be a mix between tech, a little bit of sprinkle of magic, but mostly, mostly everything is biopunk themed. And there will be other updates coming that will focus on mutating the flesh blobs that spawn from the flesh uh, cradle and turn them into abominations. And there will be some mutations of um, and some mutants so you will get to have some pets more than the normal flesh blobs because at the moment they're 
not many variations of them. And what is also going to happen is we're going to be more items, as I said before, more living tools, more everything. It's only the beginning. So I hope you liked it. And I hope you will download the mod and enjoy it. Who knows? Maybe you will also join our Discord to join like-minded people. And enjoy.